Hello and welcome to IT Voice, your one stop for all things tech. I'm Rini Gupta, bringing you the latest from the world of technology. From cutting edge product launches to breakthroughs in artificial intelligence, we've got it all covered. So our lead story is about India's software exports to hit 224.4 billion by FY 2024-25, Ashwini Vaishnav. Google AI Studio, built on Gemini AI, is a versatile platform for creators, developers, and users. It offers four main features. Chat for multimodal AI conversations, stream for real-time assistance with live word-by-word -word responses, generate media for creating images and videos, and build for developing AI-powered apps and websites. Users can adjust settings like model choice, creativity, and output format. With Gemini Live, screen sharing, and audio support, AI Studio serves as a virtual co-pilot for brainstorming, content creation, coding, and rapid app development. Google OpenAI has unveiled its most advanced speech-to-speech -speech AI model, GPT Real-Time, offering natural and expressive voice interactions while efficiently following complex instructions. The model can switch languages or tones mid-sentence, capture nonverbal cues like laughter, and detect numbers in languages including Spanish, Chinese, Japanese, and French. Designed for real-world tasks like customer support, personal assistance, and education, GPT Real-Time is available via the Real-Time API. OpenAI also introduced two new voices, Cedar, male, and Marin, female, enhancing the flexibility and expressiveness of voice applications. OpenAI Samsung's AI-powered NowBrief feature is now available on the Galaxy S24 series via the latest One UI 8 beta update. The feature provides dynamic lock screen notifications without occupying notification space, initially supporting Samsung apps like Weather and Calendar. Users can enable NowBrief through the onboarding screen, powered by Galaxy AI. Future updates are expected to include third-party app integration for enhanced functionality. The beta also fixes minor bugs, with the full public rollout expected once Samsung releases the official One UI 8 build. Sam BDSoft is strengthening its cybersecurity portfolio for India's SMEs, responding to rising digital risks. With 75% of small businesses experiencing cyber attacks in the past year, the distributor now offers scalable, cost-effective, enterprise-grade solutions through partnerships with global players like Bitdefender, Safetica, and FileCloud, covering endpoint security, insider threat detection, compliance, and secure file sharing. CEO Zakir Hussein Rangwala emphasized making advanced cybersecurity accessible and simple for SMEs. BDSoft aims to expand further in Tier 2 and Tier 3 cities, adding AI-driven and cloud-based solutions. BD Anthropic has updated its consumer terms and privacy policy, asking users to decide by September 28, 2025, whether their cloud chats can be used to train future AI models. Users who opt in will have their data retained for five years compared to the standard 30-day retention for those who opt out. The company says this data helps improve AI accuracy and detect harmful usage like scams. These changes apply to Cloud Free, Pro, and Max plans, excluding commercial services like Cloud for Work and Cloud Go. Anthropic Realme has announced the Realme 15T 5G, set to launch on September 2nd, joining the 15 and 15 Pro lineup. The phone features a 7,000 made odds battery with 60W fast charging, yet weighs only 181 gearing, making it lighter than the Redmi 15. It sports a 6.57 inch FHD plus AMOLED display with 120Hz refresh rate, dual 50MP cameras and MediaTek Dimensity 6400 Max chipset. Running Realme UI 6 on Android 15, it offers three color options and promises three OS and four years of security updates with pricing expected from Rs 20,999. AI tool of the day, AirOps, is an AI-powered platform designed to help content and SEO teams create, manage, and scale AI-powered content and marketing strategies. It combines over 40 AI models, data integration capabilities, and human oversight to produce high-quality content efficiently. The platform enables users to create, customize, and deploy AI applications without extensive programming knowledge.
With a library of templates and powerful integrations, AROP supports various use cases from content creation to data analytics, ensuring users can harness AI's full potential. AI so our lead story is about India's software exports to hit 224.4 billion by FY 2024-25. Ashwini Vaishnav. India's IT industry is expanding beyond metro cities driven by the government-backed Software Technology Parks of India, STPI. Union Minister Ashwini Vaishnav stated that software exports will reach $224.4 billion by FY 2024-25, up from $136 billion in 2019, with 68 STPI centers, including 60 in Tier 2 and Tier 3 cities. Initiatives like NGIS, Genesis, and Tide 2.0 are fostering startups. AI, blockchain, and gaming innovation. These efforts have generated over 2.98 lakh jobs and increased patent filings, strengthening India's global software market presence. So, that's it for today's bulletin. We'll be back tomorrow with more insights and another AI tool to supercharge your digital life. Stay sharp, stay ahead. This is Rini Gupta signing off from IT Voice. That's